Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Leechy, and welcome to Squad Builder by me. You seem to love these Squad Builders. I literally seem to get so much more views on my um, Squad Builders and my compilations. Than I do want anything else, so thanks for that. Um, kind of gives me an idea of what you guys seem to like. Uh, this is a... I oh, was playing 4 2 three, one, as you know. This is a bit of a Hidden Monsters team. It's actually a half a star team. So, uh, we're going to start just by looking at the reserves. We've got Cocker, Giggity. He's got 76 pace. Yeah, I only brought him... Um, because there was none of the left back that actually have in this team on the market. So, um, he actually turns out to be a really good boy. He's got pretty good free kicks. The stats are good. He's just quite shit at him. Lunt, I bought him because he was going to be my centre mid. But he did not fit in with the team. He had like 7 chem. Uh, and then Hughes, 47 rated. Most of these are just here just to keep the rating down. But there are a few that I quite like. Rodney, he is an absolutely amazing player. He's actually really good at finishing. And he's not even slow. 78 pace. Um, yeah, he's he is slow. Um, Clayton is a 46 rated striker. That is a lie. He is absolutely class. He is actually oh, I can't understand how is he 46 rated. He's just he's stupidly good. Um, I've scored some pretty good goals with him as well. I might do clips at the end of this one. I never do clips at the end of my squad builders. I think I might for this one. Uh, Ray only had to make up the numbers. Gerard 32 reflexes, probably the best keeper ever to have lived. And Turton, that is a sexy face. Okay, uh, that always bugs me. It all needs to be over to the left. Okay, so onto the team. I'm actually going to leave my goalkeeper last. Um, if my mates are watching this, I don't know why. Um, in right back, why am I searching for all right backs? Oh, well, I might as well. We have got Reed. He has got 82 pace. And he is 57 rated. Another thing for this team, the highest rated player is 62. Apart from that, there's nobody above 60. So just keep that in mind the whole time. Centre backs. We are, well, we're going to be looking bronze the whole time. And English, so we might as well just search for that. On the right, we have got Cyrus Christie. You all know that I love this guy. Plus, he's a cough player, so he's an absolute lad. 79 pace. That's a lie. It is in the 80, 82, 83, 84 region. And the next gym is Nathan Cameron. He is an absolute monster. 75 heading on a 50 rate card is stupid. Okay, so on to the left back. And we have got Howell. I scored an absolute belter with this guy. We'll see if I can find it. I just seem to just run doing ball rolls and fake shots. And I run all the way into the box and then just... Belted it into the net. Okay, over to the right central defensive mid, and it's actually a centre mid that plays here. Uh, I think he's in League One. What am I doing? League One. Uh, yep, yeah, Tut or Tutte. I don't know. It's English name, so it's not Titty, is it? What we're saying. He's uh, he's actually only here at the minute because I want to buy a player from Accrington Stanley. Who are they? I, I don't know. But um, he got. He's, there's not been one on the market yet, and I've been looking for like around a week now, and there's none have been put up on the market in my formation. But I'm sure I'll find one eventually. And then next to him, you've just seen him before. Oh the hell! Oh yes, centre mid. Uh, you've just seen him before. It's the man with the troll face four day. This guy's an absolute animal. He is f the lowest rated player in the team, and he's actually so good. I can't um, complain about him in any way. He's actually. It's hard, to, it's hard to explain. He's he's quick. And the rest of his stats just look shit. But he's not. He's actually um he's actually a really good player to play with. Over to right central attacking midfielder. And we have got Nick Powell. This guy's got an inform, as you will know. 64 rated inform. Who has got like 80 shot or something stupid. Um he scored the goal in the playoffs to get crew promoted. I know that. I watched the game. And he's born in 1994. That's absolutely ridiculous. He's only like two years older than me. So, oh, that's just... I, I envy him so much. He's just signed for Manchester United as well, as most of you would know. For a few million, crew have done very well there. There's actually quite a few crew players in this team, as you've seen on the bench. A lot of crew badges there. Over to uh, centre attacking mid over on the other side. And we have got Sweeney. This guy's stats uh, on the ultimate database. If you don't know what the database is, I'll put it a link in the description. I'm sure you do. His stats on the database actually say that he's got a really good long shot, but um, I don't know. Nick Powell's long shot is very good. I can't imagine what it's like in his 64 card because it's really good in his 52 card. But uh, Sweeney's long shot isn't that amazing. Okay, onto centre forward, and it's actually a striker. He does still get nine chem, and it is. Patterson, he is 50 rated and he has got 76 pace and actually a really good shot on him. 15 on dribbling as well, which isn't that bad. I don't know how looking at them stats he has been brought down to a 50 
considering he's a striker. You got to you, you got to take out um, basically defending uh, and passing really for a striker. It's not really that needed that much. Uh, kind of the centre mid one that he's passing, and up to the top and up front we have got more. He is absolutely insane. 84 pace, which when you're playing against teams with half a star, just seems like so, so much. Um, pretty much any bronze team, actually, that seems like a lot. Um, if I literally, I felt, if I put anyone else there, like Ings, like you're probably saying, pace horsey must be. Um, if I put Ings there, or somebody like Westcar, um, the rating goes up to one star. So I'm not going to have that. And now, finally, it's out to the goalkeeper. Let me tell you a little backstory actually before I put him in. Um, is the goalkeeper I used to play. He is a bag of shit. He has got 32 reflexes, 20 speed, and 30 diving. Literally, uh, I'd have 10 shots. The other guy would have one shot, and he'd be winning one at half time. Just simply because the keeper just could not save a thing. So, call me a dick. Call me what you want. Um, in goal, I've got Joe Hart, the most <laughs> overpowered English goalkeeper on the game. <laughs> he saves my buttocks so many times. Um, he's probably my favourite keeper, um, apart from Abiati. But yeah, he still keeps the rating down to half a star. My ratings when I get into the game are like 51, 54, 50 something. I'll show you that in, uh, in a second at the end of this. I'll probably do a few games now and um, talk you through the games as they go. Apart from that, don't really know what else I can tell you about this team. Thank you for watching, guys. This has been Leechy. I've got a Norwegian manager. Ignore that. Um, uh, I just asked my mate Ryan if he had any managers in 4-2-3-1, and that was the only one he had. So, tops to him for giving me that. Um, couldn't jump over to me with the gameplay now. So, uh, see you all in a second. Okay, so while um, you can see the gameplay in the background that I've just played with this team, um, I say, starting at the back, Joe Hart's a very, very good keeper. He's probably, well, he is the best English keeper. Um on the game, sorry I've heard my phone, he is the best thing to keep on the game, he is an absolute monster, unstoppable, I think he got a 10 match rating in the second game, um, onto the defence, Reed is very fast, Howell is very fast as well, Howell's got long throw trait and it is quite long, um, apart from that the two centre backs, um, Nathan Cameron is an absolute rock and Cyrus Christie is, uh, he's got the bronze Marvel win, I'd say is the best person I could compare him to that's not bronze, um, into the midfield and the two uh, defensive mids. Ford is a very solid, shabby style player, playmaker, pass it around. And um, the other guy is a free kick taker, but he was shit at free kicks. That's all I can say. He just seemed to sky every single one. Um, onto the attacking mids on the right, we've got Powell. He's such a monster, I can't explain. He was, um, in the second game that I played, he actually outclassed someone who had Ashley Young. He like completely ripped Ashley Young apart, made him look like a little boy and well he's a little boy um on the left attacking mid it is um Sweeney and he's pretty solid as well he's he's like more like Ford than he is like uh Powell he just seems to pass the ball around instead of uh creating opportunities and scoring goals himself there's no real finishes in this team that's the only problem the amount of times I had one-on-ones and the ball just hit the keeper especially in the first game well and in the second a lot as well up front, Patterson, very, very, very good player. Um, very solid as well. And he um, plays very, very well with Rodney. who Not Rodney, um, Moore, who is stupidly quick. Uh, there's a goal you will see in a second, or you might have already seen it, where he just picks the ball up from kickoff and just runs and runs and runs and runs and finesses it around the keeper, showing his absolute pace. Um, uh, apart from that, the players that I tried from the bench... I've played with them all, but uh, the ones that I tried in this gameplay it was Max Clayton. He is a very, very strong player. He is very tall, uh, strong, quick, and he's shit at passing. As this whole team is, apart from Ford, everyone is shit at passing. Um, apart from that, Rodney is the black version of Clayton, I'd say, without being racist. Um, he's a very good aerial player, um, very strong as well, and he actually does feel like a good finisher. Thank you for watching, guys. This has been Leechy. If you enjoyed it, click that like button. Leave a comment down below. What teams do you want me to try out? Don't suggest something fucking stupid. Don't say a um, £5 million pound fucking League of BBVA all blue team or something like that. Um, suggest a team that you want to see. Maybe a fun team, maybe like a Premier League Legends team or something like that. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you all later. See ya.